have with us a very very important person who recently spoke about a big revelation that has definitely shocked a lot of people and surprised a lot of people and he is a very very senior politician who was formerly with the congress and he's also currently the president of the world tamil federation and uh, it is definitely uh, very important uh, to speak to you at this moment for republic tv sir thank you so much for joining us today uh, we have mr parne dumaran sir so this revelation Two three days ago, you spoke about how the LDT chief Prabhakar and Velu Pillai Prabhakar and is alive and he's healthy, he's well and he is definitely coming back, you know, emerging out in the public eye again. This has definitely shocked, of course, a lot of people, but a lot of people, particularly Tamilians, are extremely happy on the other side. But this question of is it true or not is prevailing. Everybody is confused whether we need to believe this or not believe this. please clarify this for the for our viewers there is no necessity for confusion it is a truth no doubt about it in the past also several times this false news have been spread by the sri lankan government in 1984 89 90 mm, several times they said that brabaran is dead he is no more why they spread this news in order to in order to confuse the the tamils all over the world they are spreading this uh, rumors but now the situation is thoroughly changed in 19 uh, in 2009 after the war is over in sri lanka the situation at that time was different the attack on the double towers in america after that america and britain and almost all the european nations they are against the terrorism the sri lankan government used it they spread the rumor that ltt is a terrorist organization india at that time supported it india banned ltt so almost all the countries banned ltt they also gave all kind of help to sri lankan government to crush the ltt more than 20 countries supplied arms and in every possible way they helped sri lankan army to defeat the ltt including india now the situation is thoroughly changed in sri lanka itself the single is people who elected rajabakshe as the president they are rose against rajabakshe's family in the past uh, more than 50 years singles people never rose against their leaders whoever gave president or prime minister he must be a racist he induced these people against the tamils and exploited it now the 
first time in the history of Sri Lanka, Singlish people, even intelligentsia, also rose against the Rajabhakshi brothers. And almost that chapter is closed now. The situation is changed. Singlish people now realize the truth. Some of the Singlish uh, uh, academicians and intelligent people are speaking and writing essays about the past, the crimes against the Tamils. So, in Sri Lanka itself, a different situation is there. International situations also now changed after almost 13 years. Now the biggest uh, uh, danger is China is very strongly stepped in Sri Lanka and they invest crores and crores of rupees in that small island. Correct. For what purpose? Sri Lanka is not a big market for China. It is a small country. Correct. There is no, not at all, any benefit they can get from Sri Lanka. Only thing, they can use Sri Lanka. They, they wanted to use Sri Lanka against the Tamils. Okay. That is the problem. Sri Lankan Tamils issue and the danger of Chinese aggression, they are not different issues. They are interlinked with one another. Okay. If you want to remove the Chinese danger, then you have to help the Sri Lankan Tamils also. You know that in 1962, when Chinese aggression was there in North, at that time, Prime Minister Jawaharlal Nehru, with the help of international community, stopped it. Then he decided one thing. China is an aggressor. They will again do that again. In the West, Pakistan is an enemy. So you should not build any base or any industry connected with the army. All that should be removed to South India. Okay. So now more than 700 bases and industries are in South. South why he decided so? At that time he thinks that there is no other country except Sri Lanka in the South. Sri Lanka is a friendly country. So he decided at that time and uh, do it. But now what is the situation? It's entirely changed. Thoroughly changed. Sri Lanka helped China and Pakistan to have bases in Sri Lanka. So, we must be very careful now. Okay. Now, 
in it uh, states australia japan and india join together and form an alliance germany and france also support that alliance this alliance is for what what purpose this is against chinese influence in indian ocean and other places they wanted to stop it it is a good move there is no doubt about it but at the time of british indian ocean was under the control of british navy in singapore and colombo they have got their navy bases after independence it is our in our control india's control but now more or less the indian ocean is under the control of chinese so um, there are many political parties in uh, tamil nadu for example mdmk like uh, with vaiko and he has also been uh, very pro in this and he also released a statement after your interview where he says he is still in touch with certain fighters who fought along with prabhakaran and uh, he is not able to cross verify your statement but he says that he'll be happy very happy if he comes back but he is not able to cross verify it so these t- kind of statements are also started to coming so what do you react to that i don't want to comment it because in the past they are with us they helped us so on but now things have changed they have got uh, some other alliances alliances they are saying so i don't want to comment on it okay so why i am asking is this when every other person who has been starting to comment on different things this is where people get confused this is where the clarity is missing on because there are so many people who keeps saying that he is no more for example as soon as your statement came we tried to contact to the sri lankan uh, army and uh, we had a spokesperson who spoke to us and he says they have all the records they have all the dna proof they have everything that he is no more so where is this how do we believe that like no, not just us but the people want to know if they are able to like confirm this they want to believe because there's contradictory views from each side you see this is not the first time sri lankan army refuted this statement from 1984 several times they declared prabharan is dead we have shot him they said after one or two days the truth came out after 2009 they said we found his body we have conducted dna test the commander of the singhalis army general punseha himself announced this he said we found his body in the morning lamun yeah 12:30 we conducted the dna test and announced it. then the director of dna lab in chennai dr sandar sehan is one of the experts in asia okay. about this thing he gave an interview to the press at that time what he said there is no lab at all to conduct a dna test in sri lanka they always send that samples to us okay 
we'll only conduct DNA test here and we'll report them. Okay. So it cannot be a truth. And also, if a DNA test have to be conducted, it will take four days, minimum four days. Within an hour or one and a half hours, nobody work. can done it. <laughs> he exposed it and placed it before the public. They called the, all the ambassadors in Colombo, international press, and called them. And they have to show it before them. But they simply say, within an hour, we burned it and throw it, his ashes in the sea. Is it the way? Because killing Brahman is a great thing by the Sri Lankan army. But what they announce, what they have done is different. Okay. They must have bring that body to Colombo and show it to the international community itself started the war with LTT. At that time, the IPK commanders, after the retirement, they are in many booths, they have pinpointed this point. And also, they want weapon. Necessity of weapons is always there. He never get any assistance whichever country is against India. He never went to Pakistan or never asked with the help of China for weapons. He never do it. He simply announced it publicly. We won't go against Indian interest. When Mr. Jayavartana was the president of Sri Lanka in 1984, he secretly offered USA to have its na naval base at Trinco. But America put one condition. Trinco is in Tamil's custody, okay. in LTT's custody. You must put single majority in that area. Okay. Otherwise, we cannot do it, he said. Why they are fighting for Trico LTT? It is their homeland. Not only for that, but they wanted that to help India. Any foreign nation have got any base in Tamil areas or in Sri Lanka, it will go against India and South Asia. The LTT fight for their liberation. And also for the defense of India also. You see, But otherwise, what Rajabhakshay has done, he got the help of Pakistan and China. He knows they are India's enemy. Even though he went and asked them to help. Why? Uh, some two or three months ago, 
a Chinese ship came to Sri Lanka. Yeah. Indian government requested the Sri Lankan government not to allow that ship. Say that we believe that uh, he is still alive and he is going to come back for the people. But you know, we remember what happened to his son, the controversy that happened around his death, that happened like 10 years back. There were so many controversies that went around, so many things that came out from the Sri Lankan army and all that. But don't you think that was also a very important time when he, if he was alive, then he should have come out and, you know... After 2009, no war was there. Okay. At that time, LTD announced, we are silencing our weapons. They announced publicly, we are silencing our weapons. Yes. And they go underground. After that, there is no war between Sri Lankan army and Tamils. But the atrocities of Sri Lankan army continued. There is no doubt about it. But at that time, we cannot do anything at all because India is fully supporting Sri Lankan government. At that time, the Congress government was there. They gave all kind of help. At the time of war also, and after that also, they gave. In the last minutes also, Indian Navy surrounded the Sri Lanka, and uh, they wanted to destroy the LTT thoroughly. They helped him. So, we cannot do anything at all at that time. So, they kept quiet. Okay. Now, it is the high time for them to start their campaign again. Okay. Sir, uh, there is vaguely an opinion that is prevailing in the public that this is also a political, uh, you know, uh, the, the, the announcement that was made also has some kind of a political background to it with the government of India, government of Tamil Nadu particularly, uh, whatever is happening in Tamil Nadu, there is a, maybe there could be a political, uh, you know, backing for this kind of a statement. Is that true? What do you have to react to that? I don't think so. LTT and the Elam Tamils want the wholehearted support of the Indian government and the Tamil Nadu government also. Okay. In my statement also, I mentioned it. The Tamil Nadu Chief Minister and all the political parties in Tamil Nadu must come forward uh, to give their support to Mr. Prabhara. I also uh, requested the Indian Prime Minister and the Indian people, Indian political parties to support and gave their fullest support to Prabharan. So, there is no political Inclination in this. intention, anything at all. Okay. Only they wanted Elam Tamils. They know without the support of India, they cannot get their freedom. They know it. Okay. Everybody is for it. Okay. So one last question. So now that you've completely announced, given a confirmation that uh, Velupillai Prabhakaran is alive and is going to come back and probably uh, LTT, his own team, his own fighters, his own people will also uh, come uh, along with him. What uh, are we expecting? Like, what will be happening? Like, can you tell us, like, what will be the next step? Like, how will they come back? How will uh, they plan to do it? Not exactly full details, but can you, can you like, give us an idea about what this is going to be? For this question, I am not able to answer. Only Birbaran can answer to your question. <laughs> okay. All right. Thank you so much. Thank sir. you. Thank you.